Um, hi there, and welcome back to Autolester. In this video, we'll be covering five of the most popular alternatives to Omegle.com. But before we start, please go down to that big red button in the bottom right corner and subscribe. We're trying to make it to a thousand subscribers as fast as we can, so please help us out. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, we've got Tiny Chat. Tiny Chat is one of the largest voice and video chat services on the internet today. The company boasts that users produce a combined 5 million minutes of airtime every day. There, you'll find thousands of different chat rooms, even some that were started by people in your local area. And if you don't find a topic, then you can always create your own, and people would join. It allows up to 12 video feeds per room and uses an API where users can stream live video of shows hosted on the service. And it doesn't cost a thing either, which is great. People come together online to converse via mic, video, or instant messaging. Next up, number two, Chat Roulette. Chat Roulette is a webcam based chat service that has the unique approach of pairing users with random strangers. It's supposed to be like playing a Russian roulette, only instead of dueling with a gun, you're basically dueling with whoever you get next. If you do something or say something that your partner doesn't like, they will probably leave the chat or kill the conversation. This is the first type of site like Omegle that ever came out, I believe, and it was created in 2009 by a 17 year old kid who ran the site out of his bedroom in his parents' home. And even without any advertising, the site grew to an enormous size by word of mouth. After several years of trial and error, it has finally reached the point where it can effectively filter out all inappropriate behaviour. I would be careful though, because there can be a lot of R-rated um, webcams that pop up with different people. Number three, chat random. Chat random has some huge goals, one of which is to become a household name like Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. It's another webcam site similar to chat roulette that pairs up users with random users. And it came into existence basically because chat roulette kept on changing their rules too often. And to meet their goals, they're connecting people from all over the world and adding new countries and languages all of the time. You can choose to interact randomly with one other person, with a group, or with a particular gender only. So if you want to talk to boys or just girls, you can do that. You can also select a preference for conversations via video with, for example, gay users or a specific language. They are also adding additional webcam and other services to satisfy users' expectations. Number four. Fruzo is much more than another video chat service. It is a unique online dating social network when users can connect through their current Facebook profile or create a completely new profile just for the network. Here the user can find a potential match, follow and make friends, and of course video chat, which is the main drawing feature that makes it similar to Omegle. This, there is a search function to find connections by age, gender, location, or keyword, and users can upload and scroll through unlimited pictures. Since Freezo can be used on your mobile device too, the service can be accessed from virtually anywhere. And last but not least, number five, Faceflow. These guys are taking social networking into a new level by allowing users to have video chats with up to three people at a time. Faceflow offers free video chat and video conferencing with your friends directly on your web browser, but you can also talk with strangers too, which is the main draw. Users can now create a searchable profile and are encouraged to share their favourite pictures and YouTube videos. Beyond being just another webcam chat service, the site is more in line with the great services offered by Skype. It offers text and one-on-one -on -one video chats, and to make things more interesting, Faceflow has also released a multiplayer game called Flappy, which looks pretty tough. Let us know what you think of these five alternatives to Omegle. If you have any better alternatives, please comment them down below in the comment section. And remember to like and subscribe and help us get to that 1000 subscribers mark. Thank you and goodbye.